Six years ago, my dad found out he had cancer in his pancreas, and it was spreading. Our family rallied around him. We cooked for him, cared for him, and drove him to chemo. And we grew closer to him and to each other. At the time, my wife Lisa, who is a doctor, was working in Dauphin, in the clinic, in the ER, and delivering babies. She has a gift for connecting with her patients. The first time she helped a new mother give birth, she cried. Yes, I definitely cried at, at least the first five deliveries, the first ba five babies that I delivered. Um, mostly because it's a very intense emotional experience, but also because babies are miraculous gifts of life. So how many babies have you delivered? About 600, I think. 600. <laughs> My family's seen healthcare from both sides, as patients and providers. Now public healthcare is under attack in Manitoba by Brian Pallister. He is closing emergency rooms, laying off ER doctors in Winnipeg, and shuttering EMS stations in rural communities. These decisions are life and death. Lisa and I talk about healthcare a lot, with each other and with people on the front lines. We all agree the best way to improve care and reduce wait times is to move upstream, invest in primary prevention, mental health, and better drug coverage. When you help people stay healthy at home, they don't need to go to the hospital as often. When my father left this world, he left with dignity. He was proud to the end. When it came, he knew he was surrounded by people who loved him. We should all have that. We should all have health care that helps us be the best version of ourselves. I will rebuild our health care system after Pallister's cuts by listening to people on the front lines and by helping people stay healthy at home so that all Manitoba families can be well, whether it's at the beginning of life or at the end. Health care is an act of love. We understand.